The 2018 State of the Workforce report reveals that 61% of IT employers in our region are experiencing a shortage of skilled workers, and 50% of technology employers plan to add more jobs in the next 12 months. This next story explores an area of IT where their workforce needs grow every day. We as a society like our technological conveniences. We have our Alexas and Roombas and Rings. And as we continue to connect everything to the internet, the rise of security and compliance continues to grow. And unfortunately, we currently have a shortage of cybersecurity professionals to help keep those hackers at bay. There's predicted to be a shortage of talent of by one and a half million people by the year 2021 in cybersecurity specific roles. It's nationwide, okay. um, so locally for St. Louis right now, there are about 5,000 open roles that are unfilled today. Tony Bryan is the executive director of the Midwest Cyber Center, a local nonprofit located in T-Rex, a technology startup incubator downtown. Our mission is to close the cybersecurity skills gap by inspiring the workforce of tomorrow and educating the workforce of today. Tony makes it sound so easy, and in some ways it may be. There are people looking for training and certification in cybersecurity, and they can provide that. In person, three days a week, 72 hours of coursework that is provided um, with a real-time instructor, um, soft skill prep. Using the cybersecurity framework for the National Institute of Standards and Technology, students develop their workforce readiness skills in this field. That's exactly what Derek Hall did. After he left the military, Hall got his associate's degree in computer networking and administration, but struggled to find a job. I got my associate's degree thinking that would be my ticket to get a, a good job. Uh, I was getting no hits. Um, I applied to a lot of places, but just not even getting called up for an interview. So I decided I'd go on for my bachelor's. Maybe that's the ticket. When I'm going to school, I'm talking to all these people who are seniors who have never even been able to get an internship. Well, as it turns out in the IT profession, particularly in the cybersecurity space, there are barriers to career pathways. There's a breakdown in whoever is creating the jobs. If you're looking for experience, but it's an entry-level job, asking for seven years experience is not really entry level. Maybe helpful to write kind of what's at what place in the model. The trend that I've noticed when I've talked layers, to industry folks, right? Just, and, uh, figure out which interface and, and primarily around, you know, those that are doing the job so from day to day. For 10, They're looking for people that have skills, um, some of that intangible aptitude, desire, reliability, inquisitive, you know, lots of great skills that come along with it that you can't learn in a textbook, you just inherently know. Mm -hmm. But then they're going to, you know, support staffs and HR offices in their organization, and those offices have rules, right? Those rules have been set in stone for, for years around the degree requirements, and you need this or you need this certification. Midwest Cyber is not only sourcing entry-level cybersecurity analysts, they're creating a non-traditional pathway to employ them, apprenticeships. Apprenticeships are not a new concept, but are mostly affiliated with the trades and not technology careers. But cybersecurity needs are in high demand and companies are changing their approach to on-the-job training. Rafti L. Constantine is the Chief Information Security Officer at Barry Waymiller, a worldwide company headquartered in Clayton, whose primary business manufactures equipment that manufactures products. Over the past 35 or so years, we've acquired over 100 companies, about 110 companies. What does a company like this need cybersecurity for? How does that work on an everyday basis? That, that's a great question. So for, for our customer trust, which is very important to us, we want to make sure that our customers know that when they do business with Barry Waymiller, their information they provide us in the course of normal business is going to be well protected. There is definitely some intellectual property. There's financial information that we want to protect. There are a lot of personal bits of information that we, that we collect and, and must keep for our uh, associates, for our team members. Right, so even HR information That's what I'm talking. would be exactly. everybody. Exactly. Naturally, Barry Way Miller takes cybersecurity very seriously, and Constantine's cybersecurity team is growing with the help of Midwest Cyber Center. 
And it was the best thing. Because what I'm, me, as a, as a hiring authority, <clears throat> a person in need of, of some cyber skills, uh, the Midwest Cyber Center provides me someone who's been vetted, vetted uh, with um, some level of professional skills, professional behavior, and, uh, and, and eagerness. That, that passion I spoke with, uh, that, that, that's, that's already been kind of, of, of vetted for me at, as the hiring mm -hmm. authority. So working with Tony, I had a couple resumes to choose from. I interviewed some folks. <laughs> So last August, Derek landed an apprenticeship at Barry Waymiller, where his on-the-job training combined with 580 hours of online coursework will land him a permanent position there within a year. It was phenomenal. He was exactly the type of person I was looking for. It's been really amazing. It's not what I expected. I was expecting kind of like an internship type, but um, they have given me actual responsibility when I, when I bring something up to take it seriously. Um, I've never, I could have never imagined it would be something like this. 